Happy Water Wednesday, y'all. Mercedes here with Protector Aquifer, and we're on site at Alonzo Weaver Park, where a massive stream restoration project is taking place. Behind me, you can see South Cypress Creek. This is a $13 million federally funded project that's been in the works for 10 years. This project is happening thanks to federal funds that were received in 2016. After, if you remember, in 2011, Southwest Memphis suffered historic floods. There were neighborhoods where you couldn't even get to the homes on car. You'd have to take boats to your homes. The work that we see here is ongoing to restore some of the natural flows and oxbows and bends of South Cypress Creek. The flooding happened because of our history of channelization alongside development. We haven't allowed our uh, creeks and streams to naturally meander as they need to. So this work is to restore some of that natural character to South Cypress Creek and increase our resiliency so that we've got native plantings. They've taken out the invasives. We've got stronger natural wetlands that can absorb some of that rainfall and reduce the likelihood of disastrous flooding. So we're excited to see this work ongoing. It's been a lot of time in the making. A lot of uh, community input has gone into it as well. This project was federally funded, but at a state level, projects like this are few and far between. And we don't want another natural disaster to be the reason why we get projects like this to see the light of day. So please stay tuned with Protector Aquifer. We're anticipating some wetlands protections advocacy work in the next year. Uh, we want to ensure that projects like these and wetlands across our state are protected and let's get more funding on a state level to restore our native habitats and protect our wetlands.